I am welcoming you to this week's vlog. Woo, woo, woo. I am having a quite productive week this week, which I'm pretty pleased about. But, okay, I've come to ask you guys a question. A life question, okay? You see this? Oh, you see this? Sorry, Blue, I just, I tripped over you, didn't I, mate? Sorry, I didn't see you down there. Sorry, I didn't see you down there. This? beautiful baby has just died on us like it literally just died on us okay we've had it for two and a half years the warranty ran out in june last year and it's died my fridge was at nine degrees all week and so then i called like i rung up like a repair company got the guy to come around and he was like oh your fan's frozen so put loads of hot water in your freezer and unfreeze the fan and then like literally two minutes later he rang me back i've just spoken to smeg and your fridge has died and I'm like, what do you mean my fridge is dying? Like, I've literally only had it two and a half years. But apparently there's something happened in the back of it where it can't actually gauge what temperature it's at. So the freezer's working, but the fridge is kaput. Which I'm really upset about. So that fridge, that beautiful looking fridge, cost us like 1,300 quid two years ago. Two and a half years ago, actually. And I wouldn't expect an appliance die that quickly if it's a well-made product it should at least last like four years like we've had our tv oh, i'm gonna jinx it now we've had our tv since we moved in which is like five years and it's still working and it's still doing really well what i don't get is why this beautiful looking fridge has died on us after two and a half years i'm really upset i'm just really annoyed because it's just like extra money that I didn't plan on spending on a fridge <sighs> any fridge recommendations yes this is a boring start to my vlog okay but i need to know okay as an adult i don't want to buy another fridge that looks great but dies after two and a half years i'm really sad good morning everyone yes i look amazing this morning <laughs> I've had a really lazy morning this morning. I have been just finishing up a blog post that's gonna go up tomorrow, which is a mammoth guide to our 48 hour trip in Joshua Tree. Um, if you guys are heading out that way, there are some few places that you should visit on the way. So I have been really enjoying putting these together because we did the trip in, oh well, before Christmas. So it's really nice like reliving what um what we got up to and there are 10 places to visit on the on on my list so you guys can check that out um but that will be going out tomorrow so it will already be out when by the time that this vlog goes up i am going to do a few like at home exercises first and then fingers crossed i'll go for a run or i might go for a walk with the dogs i can't decide basically i've had really bad luck this week walking the dogs blue is obsessed with going in the allotments up at the field and he got stuck in there and i was on the back field and i didn't realize because he jumped over like him and bay just run onto the front field and normally they just come running back so blue wasn't coming back and i was calling him and like so i ran onto the front field and literally as i ran onto the front field i saw this lady with blue attached to a lead walking onto the backfield freaked me out massively i was like oh my gosh this lady's stealing my dog um like ran over to her and was like excuse me excuse me and she obviously was just being really nice and she was like oh i've called you on your mobile she said i found him who's in the allotments and the other dog ran off which is obviously bay so she's like so i thought he wasn't with him and i was like oh no like and i, I was like pleased that she'd obviously like was caring enough to like try and get him back to me but at the same time i was like if you just left him off the lead he would have run back to me but yeah it's one of those situations that i was just happy that he wasn't being stolen and he was just being an idiot and got stuck in the allotments but it freaked me out a little bit and because steve's been busy i've been the one walking the dogs and yeah i just get a little bit of anxiety now when i go up to the field i'm like oh please don't get stuck in the allotments again so i haven't gone in the backfield yet so basically i'm just putting off <laughs> going to walk the dogs because it's raining and they keep running off <laughs> carly rowena my favorite youtube personal trainer has done a video this week about toning your back and your bingo wings i'm gonna try um it's her workout is actually in the gym i'm obviously just doing it at home here so i'm just gonna do the exercises that i can do here it's a really good video like shows so many little exercises that you can do I 
actually came past here the other day. Did you? Why? I was on my way to Bristol. So oh. Is that ready? Where is it? But how did they get there? How did, how they, did they get, get there? there? Magical stones. Stonehenge. Look at it. Look at it. Are you allowed to let the dogs off yeah, on the beach? Is it? Come on, let them off. Bye. Guys, guess where we are? We have just driven down to Sidmouth to drop Steve's dad back, and we just thought we'd take a little walk on the beach. And the dogs are just having a big wee. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's Kath and Red just having a lovely evening walk. We just caught the sunset. It's just going down there. <laughs> And this little guy. Is this the first time on the beach? No. No, it's not. You got a mate, they can. We made it, didn't we, Bluey? Also, we found a wirehead pointer. <laughs> spend time on the beach no? Yeah. yeah. Okay. We just made the sunset as well, didn't we? Yeah. Absolutely lovely. All night. We haven't talked in months. But that's alright. <laughs> Good morning everyone, Steve and I are in Waterloo Station. We're currently at the top just getting a little bit of a bite to eat and watching the fattest pigeon in the world. Look at that guy. That's why this sign is here because that guy is eating all of the crumbs. If it's fine by you, I'll take the passenger seat. We can drive around to the sky and see me. If it's fine by you, I'll take the passenger seat. I got my hands out the window, feel the ocean breeze. There's spring flowers outside Liberty. Look at these little guys. I don't I even know what they are. Flowers. Yeah. Also, these are anemones and they look amazing. You see that little guy? Because at the moment, they, yeah, they look dead like that. No, they because they pop out like that. They look like walnuts. <laughs> and these guys as well, little daffodils. Yes, spring. It's it coming. So it smells so good. Currently waiting for Steve to try on some jackets. We're in Liberty though. Check out the curtains. Look at those curtains. Are we on again? Just you and I. On another one of our famous midnight drives. Do you need to rant or just stay silent? Either or, you know I'm complying. Take a left up ahead, we're going towards the horizon. Don't stop going till we see the sun rising. You know this is who we are, this is what we do. Okay, I have just got dressed because I was a little bit chilly. It's quite cold today in the UK. Also, it's one of those days where it just doesn't get light. Like, this is as light as it's gonna get, and it's so gray. I am, I'm actually wearing thermals. I am obsessed. So when we went skiing a couple of weeks ago, I bought loads of thermals from Uniqlo, because they were supposed to be really good thermals, and they're so soft, and they're so warm. I keep wearing them as actual top, but I think they're really nice, and they're really soft, and they're keeping me warm, so I don't really mind. But I'm gonna do my makeup now. I have not been sleeping very well recently, so I need to cover my eye bags. I'm gonna start with this photography fluid, which basically, it looks like that. And it's slightly messy because it's on the pipette, but it's worth it. And then I kind of like smush it in my hand a little bit and then rub it in my face. And basically what it's supposed to do is kind of like even out your face, but also give you like that the little bit of glow as well. This is the new tube, which is always a novelty. And I got it in light because my skin's slightly paler. <clears throat> um, you can actually use a brush for this, which I am gonna do, but it's so nice. It goes on like a cream. You could literally just put it on your face with your hands. But it is just a really nice, like it feels really nice when it goes on. 
Oh, it's quite pale. It does match my skin though, sadly, and that pale. <laughs> it just blends in really nicely, and you could build it up, but I'm not going anywhere special today, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. And then I got tempted at the counter. So they've got this Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer, which is a full coverage anti-age or waterproof concealer. I normally use this Pro Long Wear Concealer by MAC. However, I stupidly, so normally I'm NC30, but I stupidly went and picked up NW30 at the counter. And as you can see, there's not that much left in that one, but there is a massive difference. And this is not the same color as my face. If anyone does wear NW30 and you live in the UK, I'm up for sending this to you because it doesn't, sh it's not suiting the shade of my face whatsoever. Yeah, so if anyone wants it, I'm happy to send it. Wow, this is super thick. I've literally just squeezed the smallest amount on. Oh, it's really super brightening though. Well, that's quite nice. I've still got so much on my hand. You literally need the smallest amount. And the guy at the counter is like, you'll go through two tubes of the CC cream and by the time that you've finished that concealer. So I'm like, yeah, bring it on, mate. What do you guys think? I, I quite like it. Um, okay, I'll put some color on my face. I'm still going, this is the blush that I had at my wedding. Which I'm still going, I'm still loving. But I don't think they actually do it anymore, so when it runs out, I'm actually gonna have to get another shade. And then for my eyes, all I've been doing is just mixing. Um, I've actually been mixing a blusher and highlighter, which is the Cosmetics a la carte. This is their Safari palette. If you guys are new, basically I did a flower display for a um, shop in Chelsea called Cosmetics a la carte and they like make like bespoke makeup, they have an amazing make amazing makeup range and like all the colours of eyeshadow that you could ever want and you can make your own eyeshadow palettes. But this one they came out with um, when like for the safari theme so this is kind of like brownie, they've got a gold and I've been using the highlighter and the blusher as like a just a warm tone over my eyes I feel like. At this time of year, I want something a little bit warmer, and it would just work really nicely. And then I'm gonna do this brown. Classic boy brow, which actually I'm running out of now. This is the first one that I bought. I think I'm gonna have to top up. So that is me done. I hope you guys have enjoyed this week's vlog. I have had a really fun time this week and um, we've got some exciting things planned for next week so stay tuned. But I hope you guys are having an amazing week so far and I will see you next week for another weekly vlog. Goodbye! <laughs>to show you guys okay so these are the jeans that I bought yesterday which are like super wide leg from weekday and it's literally going back to like my teenage years where I was like in baggy jeans like they trailed along the floor like when I went outside they got all like the water and I used to walk around all day with like the water just creeping up my leg um, but they're kind of like a 1970s like wide leg and I absolutely love them and I think with like a pair of boots they'll be really cool so they look like they're kind of high-waisted and then, I'm gonna have to run all the way back here. They have like a super wide flared leg at the bottom. I think they're really flattering for my shape. Obviously I've got like slightly bigger thighs. My legs aren't the thinnest, but I feel like they are very flattering and especially like around here, I feel like they are very flattering around my waist. I'll put the link down below, but they're from Weekday, which I've never been into before. And it's more, Weekday is kind of like a top shop kind of thing. Really good jeans in there. So yeah, I will put the link down below, but they're called Ace. And I think they're amazing, if not ace. But yeah, I'm gonna go now. So goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>